Hey guys, this is Jamie. So today I'm gonna be talking about someone who I actually looked up to. And apparently they're an asshole. So, uh, I don't know if you have heard, but uh, there's a sort of like influencer, like spokesperson about men in heels, uh, Mark Bryan. And uh, pretty much he's a straight cis dude who wears uh, skirts and heels and he has been quite active on Instagram for quite a while and in general it was very refreshing to see someone like uh, middle-aged from bold, and uh, just wearing heels wearing skirts and everything and recently an interview came out and I'll have the link to the interview down below where he gives um, an interview uh, to a German channel. Some... Anyway, so the point is he openly said that the LGBT community, or quoting the LGB community, has made it harder for him to, to exist because people now assume that he's gay. And in the interview, he was very defensive. He was saying, yeah, but I'm masculine. I don't do my nails. It's everything, everything from the waist up of me is very mask. And uh, I really, well, after overcoming my shock because I really looked up to him and I enjoyed his Instagram for maybe a year or more, uh, I kind of, it really made me think a lot. Like, uh, it's very interesting because people kind of really demonize gay men who who are wearing makeup who who do different things and in general and uh, being a gay guy who enjoys a lot of makeup uh, I don't understand why we are seen as sort of like this bad thing or the butt of the joke, really. Like, any time people speak of uh, gay men who are flamboyant and etc., it's always seen in a negative light, like, I don't want to be that gay guy. So it's always kind of weird to hear that, like, even when I was watching yesterday with my partner, like, my policeman, uh, with Harry Styles, which I highly recommend, it was really good, I, I was nearly bowling at the end of it. Um, there was also like I'm not like you've not you've not seen queers. Queers have this walk, have this makeup, face paints, whatever. And there is always this sort of strive to not be a flamboyant gay guy. And I always kind of dislike that. For obvious reasons, because I think that everyone has the freedom to exp express themselves. And it's not necessarily um just because I wear makeup and I enjoy it doesn't mean that, well, I'm a guy, doesn't mean that, uh, in my case, I'm not binary because I'm also a trans guy. And I had a video, actually, uh, a while back about it. But basically, when it comes to makeup, I think uh, Patrick Starr really kind of nails it with the makeup is a one-size-fits-all. Fits which eventually became his uh, brand, obviously. He should really start selling in Europe so I can see the hype as well. But going back to the original topic, it, it also kind of made me think a bit more because this also overlaps a bit of like cross-dressing as well and I understand that, uh, obviously, there's time and space when people didn't talk about cross-dressers. And uh, I'm not saying he is a cross-dresser. He's clearly against everything. But a lot of people tend to distance themselves from the LGBT community. or Because they just don't feel like they have either a personal beef or they don't feel like they belong. And it's specifically when it comes to straight people. And and this is a touchy subject, actually. 
because like for instance a lot of trans people which are straight they feel like they don't belong in the LGBT community or uh, there's a question of like straight cross-dressers and etc and uh, And I'm not trying to say that there is sort of a right way or a wrong way to be in the LGBT community. I just find it really frustrating that such people like Mark Bryan, who have a sort of decent chance to represent, end up saying like, yeah, the gays ruined it for me. And it's like... And like, and say such things like, I'm not with you. Okay, like, yeah, cool, you're not with us, that's fine. But to accuse gay people that, that, that because he's been wearing heels for longer, quoting, it's like, honey, we wore heels probably before you were even thought to be conceived. I mean, unless you were a mistake, which clearly you are. So it was, it was just really weird to listen to hear. And it was also like he was speaking to an individual who really looked up to him as well. So it was very bizarre and a very, very sort of nasty interview. So I understand that certain people don't want to be part of the LGBT community or don't identify, but you have to understand that a lot of things, a lot of rights stem from the LGBT community. And just because you don't want to be identifying with, God forbid, the flamboyant gays, that's, maybe that's something on you rather than the flamboyant gays. So yeah. And I don't understand, like, why does it make it... And it was interesting, because he was talking as well that he doesn't get um, harassed because he thinks that from the top he looks like uh, a heterosexual, normal, masculine dude, quoting. And... And... And it was interesting... He said that he never got harassed for it. But he understands that other people do, obviously, throwing the flamboyant gay man under the, the bus. This topic is kind of very, very weird because I, I try to approach it from different angles and sort of... Obviously, at the end of the day, he's wrong, he's an asshole. But at the same time, I feel like it's not that he has a point, but we need to understand that certain things do not, like, basically, the point of his posts in Instagram were always that clothes should not indicate a person's gender or sexuality. And... That was the point. That was why people related to him. And that's why people liked him. Because he had a point there. That no matter how you dress up, it's just clothes. And when it comes to actual... Uh, who you are, it's on the inside, you know? So I found that very disappointing and weird. And, yeah, it's, and at the same time, I understand that obviously he's not a part, he doesn't identify even as a cross-dresser, but uh, he should still understand that he's breaking norms which were pioneered by queer people. But you know, you can't win them all. And uh, quoting my partner, never meet your idols. So that was very, very weird to kind of just come across and see. And um, 
in general, I feel like we do need to address the sort of big elephants in the room of uh, straight guys feeling uncomfortable with being identified as gay. Or like there's other situations where people think that Harry Styles is queerbaiting, for your fuck's sake. I mean, not to go too deep on Harry Styles, but um, whatever Harry's sexuality is, he can wear whatever he wants, he can play whomever he wants. And no one should also be forced to be outed like the guy from um, Heartstopper was. So I just feel like it, it was a very weird week of queer discussions now thinking it and looking at back at it. And it all kind of surrounds the fact that everyone kind of wants you to be out and about and supportive when you can in Mark Bryan's case he should be quiet and stay quiet in other people's cases um, they have a right to not out themselves because of fucking assholes like Mark Bryan and his actual literal traumatic situations so yeah that was very odd to put it in the least and also on top of Harvestella releasing the fact that you look very firm according to the Steam reviews. So all this week is about as it, it's about is it gay to wear heels or wear pink at this point, you know? Really weird week. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Um Next time you see a flamboyant gay guy, just compliment them if you're not, and if it's not creepy, we need it. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. It helps me more than it helps you. It helps me more than it helps you. And uh, please share this video. I'm really trying to get it to monetization somehow.